Hi guys, so I just thought I'd uh, tell you a little bit more about my story. So I once had a dream of becoming a martial arts instructor. This was when I was like 11 years old. Um, when I first started martial arts, when I was 11. Um, when I was at school, all growing up through my school years, um, that's all I could ever really imagine myself doing. But I didn't have the tools or the know-how to get to that position. So then I'm trying to chase a dream of a dream with no path, if that makes sense. So when I qualified as an instructor back in Oxfordshire, uh, I was then teaching for somebody else who was paying me to teach classes, but I didn't know how to run it as a business, which was the hard bit. Or well, it, it personally for me, it was it was it's difficult. Uh, I wasn't born that natural businessman. Let's say I didn't have that business savvy. Uh, I was a martial arts instructor that was trying to be a businessman. Now, hopefully, or hopefully my customers will tell you that I've got a good balance between the two. I'm not massively business obsessed um, because I think then you'll, you'll lose touch with the service that you're providing. Um, but then at the same time, um, I'm not so martial arts, martial arts, martial arts that my classes are empty. Um, so over the years I was working um, full time whilst trying to run a martial arts business and then faded it in and I would then become full time. Uh, we used to go out to schools and do lots of promotional work that way. And then the doors kept getting slammed in our face, essentially. Um, receptionists didn't answer the phone to us. They wouldn't let us in the school. That means we couldn't hand out flyers to the kids, which means that the people who use our service don't know about us. And then social media took over. Um, when Facebook was launched... Uh, you've started seeing adverts from big companies like Coca-Cola, Adidas, Nike, that sort of thing. Um, I didn't feel personally very attached to social media advertising at that point because I didn't see many small businesses using it. It was more corporations that were exploiting the social media market. And then uh, I was talking in the gym with John, as he said uh, in his uh, case study. And I was pretty reluctant to to do it because I don't like spending money on marketing I really don't um, but if I know I'm going to make a return on it pretty much instantly then yeah I'll spend money on it uh, a lot of the stuff with the schools was just my time I'd just go out and I'd teach classes and um, I suppose in, essentially I'd put a low value on my time um, which I don't now I've got quite the opposite um, so we did some social media campaigns very low budget to start with £20 and I got a few people in and I was like, okay, I can see how this works. And then obviously the bigger budget you go, the more people that see the advert, the more people are going to inquire. I did get to the point, at one point I had so many people inquiring that I couldn't enrol them all because I'd lose my personal touch. And that's very, very important to me. I don't want to lose that personability. I don't want to just become a martial arts farm and just keep throwing people in this academy and and people not having a connection with what we do and I'm just collecting checks at the end of the day. That's not what I wanted. Um, especially having a passion for martial arts and still teaching martial arts and still do. Um, it's so important that people don't lose that connection with myself, my instructor team or what we do. And I think being at number one, being at the top as the director, if you lose sight of why you're really doing what you do, then you've almost failed yourself. Yeah, you could earn a million pounds a year, but it doesn't matter because you've almost failed your, your journey. Um, I don't make a million pounds a year, by the way. Uh, I wish I did, though. I'd buy that Ferrari, couldn't I? Um, so, essentially, yeah, I went full-time and very, very happy doing so, but I was still kind of struggling a little bit. I was trying to uh, pay private rent and save for a mortgage and... I just dug in, basically. I just kept doing social media campaigns, kept enrolling people. Then two people would leave, five people would join, one person would leave, six people would join, three people would join, then four people would leave. That's a bad month. But then you just keep going and keep going and keep going. It kept growing and growing and growing. So now I'm at the point whereby I, I'm working basically part-time hours. Uh, I earn a fairly decent full-time wage, uh, enough that's going to um, pay a mortgage on a house, let's say that. Uh, I'm not particularly fancy. I don't like designer clothes or anything like that. I don't have a thousand pound watch. Um, I don't, can't care for all that, to be honest with you. Um, I like to keep things realistic. 
and that's basically um, what I want to do with telling you guys my story. Um, I was looking myself into um, sales training uh, so I can get better at sales when I was when I was younger, and it all seemed very very cheesy. In actual fact, I worked for um, a gym, the same gym that uh, John goes to, and that's why I met him or how I met him. And we did a sales train, sales and retention training day um, by some woman, lovely woman, don't get me wrong, but it was all about creating an emotion and all this, that and the other. And it, it sounds dishonest. If you can, what my clients really appreciate about the service that I provide is the fact that I'm really, really honest with them and upfront about prices. I'm not trying to hide anything. There's no 12 month contracts. There's no joining fee. There's no... Uh, early cancellation fear, anything like that. Um, it's not 1990. We're not window salesmen anymore. People are sick of it. People don't want it. Um, so, a lot of that sales training that I have been on and witnessed and seen is very, very cheesy, and it, people see through that these days. Um, in actual fact, one of the main things that I believe we do very well at Freestyle Martial Arts is that we give as much information to people before they've even come in the door. So they know where we are, they know um, what our prices are, they know what the classes are about, they know our style, they know everything. So when they come in the door, there's not an awful lot of selling to do anymore. Um, in actual fact, we've had, was it three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, I had a lady that came in and I was filling up my water bottle in the facility that we used as a reception area. And I walked back up towards the gym that we rent and um, the receptionist goes, oh, there's a, a lady here that, that's here to see you. And she said, oh, I've come to enroll my son in martial arts. And I said, oh, great. Took her upstairs and she filled out all the paperwork and enrolled and he hadn't even done his first class, which everyone gets for free. So she signed up based on the social media marketing that she's seen, the conversation that she's had with me on the phone and the fact that I've been able to answer every single question she can possibly have and her son's already super excited about it because we put up videos of the classes. And for me, that's perfect because I've been really, really honest. I've not covered anything up. There's no hidden charges. It's straight up, this is how much it is. This is the service we provide. Do you want it or do you not? And it really does work. Uh, when I was first learning the business route, it was mark it up to knock it down. Oh, if you enroll today, it's you'll save 50 quid. It's confusing for customers. It's not a great way to do business, if I'm honest, because again, it looks a bit sort of American salesy. It works, it works, but they don't stick around for long. Uh, you don't get the same retention because when you mark it up to knock it down and then they tell a friend and a friend comes in, all of a sudden you've got a different deal and they've got a bigger saving and it just doesn't work. Um, and in doing so, that made me feel a bit uncomfortable because that wasn't my style, but I was doing it because that's the way I'd originally been taught. Uh, as soon as I changed up to being a bit more honest and a bit more truthful about our prices and just telling people, um, instantly more relaxed. So I could then use the time not to put big red circles around prices and cross this out, half price this and pay up front for 12 months and save 50%. None of that. I had time to get to know my customers and build rapport. Uh, that was what was really, really powerful. And any session I run, I can get one of my instructors to teach a class and I can just go and sit on a bench and just have a conversation with um, the parents that aren't joining because most of the parents do. Anybody that's not joining, I'll just sit there and have a chat with them because I'd rather do that than spend or waste time with cheesy sales patter that everybody can just see through. Uh, we made it really, really easy for them to join. Um, that's That was the, another key of our service, is the fact that you want to make it as easy as possible for people to join. Um, and we've got loads of tips of how to do that. Um, yeah, I hate dishonest selling. Uh, I can't stand it. Like I, I'm looking at um, upgrading my car, and it really, really grates on me with the way in natural fact the dealership I was at the other day that was very very good because I think he got the vibe of don't try and use that nonsense with me um, but that's a classic place where like upselling and all this if people want to invest in you they'll invest in you um, and that's the, that's the way I was so now 
again we're just looking to expand our academies uh, we've got two possibly looking at a third one next year or expand the second one a bit more um, my goal is to have 200 students enrolled um, that's a fairly short term goal potentially should be able to hit that within the next year 18 months hopefully um, I'll keep you guys updated but yeah that's my story that's where I come from so yeah I'm not flashy I don't wear designer clothes I haven't got an expensive watch I don't drive a Ferrari I'm just a normal guy with a passion for what he does and I just learned the tricks and how to get people to enroll and we, we charge a very very fair price for a, what I think is a great service and people don't people don't join our academy because we get them emotionally attached and all this all these cheesy sales techniques they, they join us because of logic because they get a better service with us because we're competitively priced and when they walk in the door they got a nice guy that's gonna sit and have a chat with them and they're, they're not covering anything up essentially so that's how I deal with business um, I see that being the way forward especially with things like Google reviews you get one Google review saying oh yeah hiding prices bit of a con and that message just spreads so far you don't want that at all um, so yeah that's me that's martial arts or freestyle martial arts Watford and Hartford for you uh, if you want to come down and see what we do then be my guest um, and I hope that helps. I'll be in touch soon.